Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we make it to Sihanoukville. I was expecting a chill, relaxed coastal city on the beach with nice clear water and just spend a few days and just relax in Sihanoukville. And wow, what a shock man. It was a terrible experience. Instead of a nice beach town, I found an ugly place full of abandoned buildings, completely dominated by Chinese and Man, it was really bad. That's why in this title you see, don't come here. But I will explain you why, and I also will explain you what happened to Sihanoukville in the past five years, because it has been through a crazy transformation and that's really, really bad. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Good morning, guys. Last night was, uh, was intense. We are now at our favorite place, Cafe Amazon. Gonna get a coffee and start the day. Hopefully today we can make it to Sihanoukville, but the weather is even worse than yesterday. Our bike is doing pretty good. The bag here is doing a good job also. And man, the engine is good actually. 250cc has a lot of power. It's a good bike, so far so good. So, we have 52 kilometers to go, it should take approximately one hour. But the weather there is very, very scary, it's like really dark. She keeps talking to her in uh, Khmer, but probably she don't understand. <laughs> Good or no? Good. <laughs> And finally, after many hours and a lot of rain, we made it to Sihanoukville. I have to say that this trip was very bad for us, also because of the weather. I'm sure Sihanoukville during the high season with the sun, it's beautiful. But this is our fault. We decided to do this road trip during the monsoon season, so this was expected. So we'll give Sihanoukville another chance in the future during the high season. But it's not only about the weather. And very soon I will explain you the main issue with Sihanoukville in the past few years. All right, guys, we made it to Sihanoukville and we just checked in in a hotel. We just booked the first hotel that we found on Nagoda. I think it's called Jun Junlan, Junlan Hotel. It seems to be like a Chinese. Everything is in Chinese, has a Chinese sign. We pay like $30 per night, including breakfast. The room is it's not bad it's pretty nice also has a balcony and the view is like this <laughs> man look at this ninja 1000 cc okay guys why don't we go outside and explore Sihanoukville let's talk about the topic of this video what happened to Sihanoukville in the past few years what kind of transformation went through well I found a video on YouTube of a Cambodian lady she's actually from Sihanoukville and she explained it very well let's check it out together I'm from Sihanoukville province and I like my hometown lots Sihanoukville has changed a lot from the past few years Chinese people in West lots of money in Sihanoukville and build lots of casinos, fancy hotels, Chinese restaurants and more. Guys, this place is so weird. It's like casino everywhere, but it seems like uh, abandoned. Such a weird feeling. This is the center of Sihanoukville. Yeah, I mean, the reason is pretty simple. This place has been built 
by the Chinese for the Chinese and because of the pandemic for the past two and a half years Chinese are not allowed here because of uh, COVID so that's why everything seems like abandoned kind of empty there are so many buildings so many hotels casinos shopping mall but everything is absolutely like empty and that's probably the the reason why Chinese cannot come here at the moment Seyenukwil before. A few years ago, Seyenukwil used to be a beautiful city and one of the best places for backpackers to visiting in Cambodia. Seyenukwil beaches used to be public and had so many bars, restaurants, boat tours, cheap beers, nightlife were vibrant. There were plenty of places to party in Seyenukwil, in either Ultra Beach or Serendipity Beach. Ultra's Market was the best place to find some live music and vegetable atmosphere in Ultra's with a variety of international food stores, souvenir shops and different musicians and performers. Seyenuk Wheel was the one of the best places to visit in Cambodia in this time. So what happened? Until 2017, it was a backpacker's heaven full of like European tourists, American, Australian. It was such a great, relaxing and chill place. And then all of a sudden, starting from 2017, the Cambodian government decided to allow and accept and invite Chinese investments into Sihanoukville and the vision was for the Chinese to just take over Sihanoukville make it like a Las Vegas of Asia full of casinos luxury hotels a lot of fun restaurants just the best entertainment in Asia and in just few months starting from 2017 billions of dollars started to flow from China into Sihanoukville and all of a sudden Sihanoukville from a chill relaxed coastal beach town became a massive construction site full of like thousands and thousands of workers building condos building casinos building restaurants completely transforming the city and the city became extremely dirty full of sand imagine just a, a massive construction site and also hundreds of thousands of chinese moved from china to sihanoukville to start their business to invest and to kind of transform this area at the beginning cambodian people they were happy because they were promised a lot of job a lot of job inside the casino inside the hotels inside all these new buildings but then starting from 2019 and 2020 things started to change because all of a sudden the Cambodian government decided to ban online casinos creating massive problem with Chinese investor here in Sihanoukville and then we all know that in 2020 COVID came. So Cambodia completely locked down. They removed all the visas so they didn't allow Chinese anymore. All the Chinese basically left and Sihanoukville went into a deep crisis because everything stopped. Thousands of Cambodian people lost their job from one day to another. And unfortunately, the situation is still the same right now. After two and a half years, Sihanoukville is very scary because it feels like an abandoned city. All these constructions that are half built, most of them are abandoned. Most of the casinos, they shut down, they are abandoned and they will not reopen again. So here they build this massive bridge that connects the mainland to Morakot Island, which is supposed to be like a massive project or like private villas, resort and a luxury residential and resort community. But everything seems to be stopped. So we are not allowed to go inside, even though the bridge is complete and uh, they don't know if they're gonna continue the project because they are Chinese uh, investments and everything is kind of like stuck right now. Hello. All these towers and condos, they are all under construction.
and this shopping mall is extremely quiet and most of the shops are closed this is the food court And another thing is that at the same time, China is going through a massive real estate crisis in their own country. If you follow international finance a little bit, you probably heard of Evergrande Group, which is the second largest property developer in China, which went bankrupt last year. And so many developers in China are following. So China is going through a massive real estate crisis. And of course, it's also affecting their international development and international investment. That's why so many people believe that investment in Sihanoukville, they will not come back anymore. Many people believe that the city is pretty much done like so many buildings they will not be finished so many casinos so many hotels so many restaurants they will be left like this half built and half not and considering that we are entering into a worldwide recession so economically the world is going through some tough time people are pretty negative and pretty desperate here in Sihanoukville and most of the local population lost their job here and to be honest now they are pretty upset with the Chinese because they completely destroy their city they make all the tourists and all the backpackers and all the western tourists run away and in few months they just turned this nice coastal beach town into a massive construction project and now they just left it as it is completely abandoned and completely ugly to be honest walking around Sihanoukville right now it's extremely extremely weird well, we park our bike here and uh, this is supposed to be the center of Sihanoukville with the two golden lions you know there is this trend on YouTube that uh, is like a clickbait thing that you say like I did not expect this visiting a city I did not expect this but man this time is really true for me I did not expect this at all it really feels like I'm in China and not in Cambodia at all and I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest Welcome to Hong Kong, I uh, know, to Cambodia. <laughs> but to be honest, I really hope that some investments, they will come back into Sihanoukville so Cambodian people can start to work again and hopefully the economy will recover a little bit because now it's really, really struggling. All right, guys, we made it until the end of this video. Again, I want to clarify that we were very unlucky with the weather. So I definitely want to give another chance to see Hanukkah during the high season. I will be back and I'm sure I will like it much more. And also we were planning to go to the beautiful island of Korong, just in front of Sihanoukville. It's truly incredible, such a beautiful place. But again, unfortunately, because of the weather, we decided to skip it and we'll come back another time. For now, we will just go back to Phnom Penh. I really wish nothing but the best for Sihanoukville and most importantly, for the people living in Sihanoukville because they deserve a bright future. I really hope for them that maybe the Western tourism will come back, the backpackers, the Europeans, the American, etc. And if not, I really hope that the Chinese investment will come back and the economy will kind of recover and they will offer more jobs and they will be in a better position in the next few years. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this video? What do you think about Sihanoukville? I'm really curious to hear your opinion. And also I want to know if you have ever been to Sihanoukville let me know in the comments below if you've been here before thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye